Hey everyone, welcome back to another Kevin's Creations here on Geektopia Island. I'm Kevin. I'm Cardwell. And today, we're, we're going back to an old deck that we've made, and we're revamping it for AO4, since it's now out and all the fun sets are there. And uh, that deck is the Sacred Paladin is the one we went through, but we've changed it to the Divine Glory. But before we get into it guys, we just remind you that we do have a Patreon. The link will be down below. Go check it out. It really just takes an extra dollar to give us some level support, and we greatly appreciate it. With that, let's delve into the Divine Glory. Yep. So. It's our girl Faria, one of the first rulers that was ever released for this for AO, for Alice Origins. And she's got Stranger 10, Judgments, white, white, and blue, Energize, white, and blue. Uh, whenever a light Regalia enters the field under your control, you choose one. If the Regalia is Excalibur, you choose two. Choose a card from your Stranger deck at random and put it in your hand, or destroy target Rested Resonator, or draw a card, or pay zero for Judgment. All of those are really relevant in this deck, and they're even more so now because of the new cards that got added. Uh, when she judgments, she's a 10-10 with precision. Enter, choose a card from your stranger deck at random and put it into the field. And then God's Art is a white and a blue. This card gains plus four, plus four, drain eternal until the end of turn. And then you choose a card just from your stranger deck at random and put it in your hand. Yep. So you just get value city whenever you judgment and, and God's Art her. So you're just like, cool, pay, pay two, she gets plus four, plus four and can't die. And I just gain life. Yes, exactly. ridiculous. It helps you just, you know, survive a little bit longer. So the strangers, we're playing blue, so we gotta play blue wizard. It's just a good, it's, it's fluoride, as yep. best as it can be. Uh, one blue, quick cast, six, six, enter, cancel target, automatic ability of a resonator. Awesome. Seems good. Uh, we have Undyne, the spirit. It is a blue and one for seven, seven, quick cast, flying. Enter, return up to three target, non J resonator, non magic stone entities to their owner's hands. So you get to bounce things and replay them. Uh, one of the new ones is Rich, uh, Richise, the Swordsman. He is a white and one for a 7-11. He's got Quick Cast, Enter, Rest Target Resonator. It doesn't recover during the recovery phase as long as this card is in the field. So this works really well with Faria's first ability of kill a tap dude. So you're like, cool, rest that dude, kill it. Yep. Neat. Uh, Valkyrie, the Weaver of Destiny. It is three white for a 10-14 with flying. Enter, you remove two target non-J ruler, non-magic stone entities your opponent's control from the game. Whenever this card leaves the field, put all cards from the removed area that were removed by this card back into their owner's control. This card we're going to talk about again a little bit later when I get to a new one, because it makes this card ridiculous. Uh, next is Arthur, the knight, the, the king of knights. He is a white, white, and blue for a 10-10 precision flying. Or precision first strike, sorry. Other knights of the round table give control gain eternal. And then enter, search your deck for a knight of the round table and put it into the field. There's literally like one night around table and you get a free dude. Seems good. Yeah. And last we have Rahab, the Emperor Dragon of Riptide. He has three blue for a 10-10. Flying and enter, draw two cards. So all of our dudes have an inner trigger and that is, there's a reason for all our strangers having an inner trigger and we'll go over it. And the first one with the inner trigger is Yudrasil, Heroic Spirit of the World Tree. Of course, it's a one colorless uh, drop. Zero four, enter. Search your deck for a Regalia that shares the same attribute of the will you paid for to play this card. Reveal it, put in your hand, and then shuffle your deck. And then thankfully you can tap this, produce one will of any attribute, only to spin on Regalia, so... Yeah. Yudra Steel is awesome. Mm -hmm. I, I totally misunderstood how good that card is. Uh, next is Vala, the Bewildering Mage. She has two blue for a 6-6. Six, six. Uh, it is a 5 hero. This card may not be banished as a cost to play in the spell or ability. Enter, search or switch control of a creature you and your opponent controls yeah. so you play her and you're like cool give me your big dude thanks you can have a six six yeah my s most annoying thing to play <clears throat> against in all yeah. the balls because it's ridiculously powerful yeah all right uh limerick the third knight it's a blue and a white six six uh this card gains plus two plus two and drain as long as you control regalia and regalia you control gains barrier so they can't destroy you or anything pretty yep. awesome and she's a knight of the round table so arthur goes and just free gets her yep uh next is charlotte uh this card it's is a ridiculous it's a lot so a blue and a white for a zero ten barrier cards named faria you control gain barrier and plus ten plus ten cards named lars gain eternal as long as your j ruler is faria your j ruler gains whenever an excalibur enters the field under your control choose to get a stranger at random put into the field Remove target non-J ruler, non-Magic Stone entity from the game, or draw two cards. I, it's so gross. If, if you get Charlotte in play, or multiples of them, it gets ridiculous really yeah. quickly. 
We, we do have gameplay of this just popping off real quick. And the fact that this has barrier itself makes it worth it. Yeah, this card's so hard to deal with because it's it doesn't attack. I mean, you're never going to attack with it because yeah. it's a zero ten, And it's got barrier, so it's just... It's just like, hey, I'm gonna sit here and just not let you do things. Yep. Thanks. Thanks. And of course, speaking of Lars, the Knight of the Sacred Spirits, two <clears> white <throat> and a blue, eight eight drain first strike. Prevent the first damage that will be dealt to five heroes you control each turn. You may pay any attribute of five hero cards with light regalia, or with light with, will. with light will. Sorry. So your Vala can be played with Lars for light. So either way. So it's pretty nice. Uh, we move into spells. We got Light of the Sacred Spirit. It is a one drop quick cast sword art, and you choose one. If you control Lars, you choose both. Remove target resonator with 900 attack or more, or search your deck for five heroes resonator, reveal it, and put it in your hand. So, able to go get stuff and just reload do things. Yeah, and freeload just kill something for one. Yeah. It's pretty good. Road to the Sacred Queen. It's one white. <laughs> Enter. If you're Ruler Sparia, choose a card from the Stranger deck and put it in your hand, which is pretty awesome. And then resonator, entering the Field under your opponent's control enters the field rested. So yeah, this just literally sets up for your Excalibur to just kill one dude. Yeah. Simple uh, as that. Next is Sacred Wave Blade. It is a blue and a white quick cast sword art. Remove target resonator or addition from the game. If this card is awakened, choose a card from Stranger Deck at random and put it in your hand. So we got the we got the removal. You need the spot removal. It's just a good card. Very, very simple. Done. Alright, the next one, of course, is Grand Cross uh, Recarnation. It's a Blue, white, sword art, mage art. <laughs> and here's a lot for us, so bear with us. As you play this card, reveal a stranger resonator from your hand. Choose two. Your opponent banishes a non J roller and non magic stone entity. Put a target stranger resonator from your graveyard to your hand. Search your deck for a regalia, reveal it, and put it in your hand, then shuffle your deck. And as long as you choose this option, choose an enter ability of a stranger resonator revealed to play this card. Perform that enter ability effect, and you choose. Targets for the select abilities as though as it's just normally getting resolved. So there's no secret targets or whatever. But that's just why all those have enter triggers. Yeah, all of the strangers have an enter trigger for this card. So regardless of which one you get, this also like this will allows you to have a blue wizard twice, which is kind of dumb. Yeah. Because you're like cool, it, it does have quick cast. So you're like cool, blue and a white reveal a blue wizard, counter your spell or yeah. counter your ability. Now I can still have my blue wizard to do it again. Simple as that. Or the, the Valkyrie, you could just free low to remove two things and they can't get them back. Because you're just like, cool, reveal this and enter trigger. Now there's no dude to come back. That's pretty good. Yeah, it doesn't say that there's any other thing that just says perform the enter trigger. And the way the Valkyrie reads is their enter trigger is just remove two dudes. Yeah. Or remove two things. You're just like, cool, get out. Seems good. Seems broken. Yeah. Uh, next is Excalibur. It is a white and a blue regalia. It's her regalia. Your J really gets plus four, plus four. And then produce any wills of white and blue, spin different gods arts, strangers, or sword arts. Yep, simple. Pretty simple, you gotta have them. All right, next one is Caduceus. It's the red white <clears throat> regalia. Your J ruler gains drain, just on basic principle. And then tap, produce two wills in a combination of white and or red. Spin this only place strangers, mage arts, and activate abilities of 12 protective demons. Yeah, this is here to give you drain and to pay for strangers. Yep, that's it. Simple as that. Uh, Wings of the Archangel it is white and green. Your J ruler gains flying, and it can add, it can add for uh, God's arts, sword arts, or angels. Again, mostly for uh, strangers and or uh, God's arts and flying. All right, next one is Waking of the Winged Lord. It's a green and a white uh, quick cast. It's a sword art, so choose one. Recover up to two J resonators with flying at the, or look at the top four cards of your deck. Put a non Chant card with total cost two among them into the field. Put the rest at the bottom in the random order, or you can choose a card from your stranger deck at random and remove it from the game. You gain life equal to its attack. Yeah. So. If you need to gain life, you can do that last one, but most of the time you're just gonna want to dig deep so you can get one of your two drops, like Charlotte or a Regalia, and just be like, "Hey, cool, yeah. Charlotte, just play some on the field." Done. Uh, next is Awakening of the Sacred Queen. It is two white and a blue for a quick cast sword art. Search your deck for a light Regalia and put it in the field. Gain a thousand life, draw a card, rest target resonator, J resonators you control, gain plus four, plus four. The last two are like together, so you rest a dude and all your dudes get big. Yeah. And it's kind of nuts how much this card can do, just because it forces a trigger of white. Like, you're just, if you have a Charlotte on when J Faria is flipped, you're just like, cool, place an Excalibur, let's do some stuff. Yeah, exactly. Simple as that. It gets nuts. 
Next one, of course, is Holy Nova. It's two white, two blue. Destroy all resonators. If this card was awakened, choose a card from your standard deck at random, put it in the field. Which, the awakening is two more white, two more blue, so eight altogether. Yeah. But to be able to wipe the board and bring a powerful stranger back is pretty cool. Yeah. And you're mostly worried, like, this deck mostly relies on Faria to get you there, so yeah. being able to just clear the board a lot is pretty nice. Yeah, and then swing with her, and then have fun. Yeah. Uh, the stones are really simple. We have Magic Stone of Light Vapors, Magic Stone of the Heat Ray, and Anorakti's Memoria, because we're just playing two colors, really. We're playing red and white, mostly. We have the green for uh, Awakening the Wing Board, a couple cards, but nothing really major. Nothing crazy. And we do have an honorable mention for this one. It was in the main deck, the, the last one, but I took it out because it's it's cool, but it's mostly a sideboardable card anyways. Aura of the Sacred Sword. It is a blue and a white quick cast sword art. You and entities you control gain barrier until the end of turn, draw a card. If you control Excalibur and Faria, this card is free. So, eh. It's cool, but it's not really a necessary card in the main deck. Yeah. It's definitely a sideboardable card if you're like, hey, cool, you're playing a lot of kill spells. No, don't. Yeah, no thank you. The so, deck is super going to be fun. We've seen it play before. I'm interested to see what's going to do with all the new uh, new cards. Because there's a lot of new weird interactions. Like Grand Cross is going to do a lot, I think. Oh, yeah. And all the new inter triggers. So we'll see. I'm definitely interested in it. The deck list will be down below. And we'll see you all again next time. Goodbye. Later. Also, guys, make sure you hit that like button down below. And subscribe to our channel. And then hit that bell for any future notifications that you have for our videos. And we go ahead and give a big uh, thank you to our fans for over the years, especially our Mythic and Above Patreon followers. Thank you, Ryan. Uh, with that, we love you. Thank you for your support.